Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Who is with me? Who's on the line? Who's on the line? And I'm around. I think I'm 30 seconds ahead of you. I think I'm 30 seconds ahead of you. So if you are there, if you are online, let me know. Uh, um, it seems my data, is, uh, my connection is still having an issue. But let's just manage it because if we, I, I should postpone the class because of the. okay thank you i'm back the tool is this i'm having an issue with my uh, with my internet so i don't know what is going on it has been working fine all this day so it's... okay let's just go into the class so that we i won't be delaying you okay let's go into the class let's go into the class but if you later join the class, I would like you to drop your comments. Okay, I would like you to drop your comment. Let me know. Okay. So we are I think we are good to go now. So we have a few slides that we want to cover. Okay. So I believe at the end of this uh class we should be able to know how to go about how we can monetize our knowledge. So mon knowledge monetization is what we are looking at right now. So that is what we are going to be discussing tonight. And once again, my name is Mayowa Onobanjo. I am business savvy and digital business expert. So tonight I'm going to be walking you through how to monetize your knowledge. Okay, why do you even need to monetize knowledge? Why is it so important that you have to monetize your knowledge? So we are going to be looking at all this area. Okay, so let me check my mobile phone. Uh, uh while i'm so if you are with me i want you to signify and another thing i would like you to do is to also share the class with people that you know that they are going to be benefit from the class okay i want you to share the session right now and then so like i said we have few slides that we are going to be cover in this session and why do you have to monetize your knowledge? Why it is, is it so important that you need to monetize your knowledge? Okay. So what I want you to know for that, let me first of all introduce myself. My name is Mayowa Onombanjo. I am business savvy and digital business expert. Uh, I'm the founder of October 12th Concept, a media company that is into printing and publishing. So... Uh, and also, I am co the co-founder of Zubia College, an online 
platform that, that is selling digital products, which is usually uh, online courses. That is what we are currently selling at the moment. So if you have any online courses that you want to sell, go to Sobia College and put your courses there. They are, it, it is free to host your courses, so you are not charging for putting your course over there. So it's a new platform, and we are looking for content creators that will partner with us so that we can have as many of your courses as possible. So if you have courses that you want to host online, Zubia College is there for you to do that. Okay, your courses are secure and you also earn a good commission. And like I said earlier on, I am the founder of October 12 Concept. Okay, so October 12 is a printing company. We is a company that is into printing, branding, or book publishing, uh, souvenir printing, award plague, and clipboard, and others. So that's what we do at October 12. So in case you want to render any of these services, I'm available for you. So just reach out to me. So now let's go into our class properly now. So thank you. Thank you for that. So what is monetization? Okay, so let's start from that aspect. What is monetization? Monetization is the act or the process of making an income from something that otherwise will not generate you revenue. I hope you understand that simple definition of monetization. Monetization is the act or the process of making an income from that or the, uh, from that something that otherwise would not generate you any revenue. Okay. So let's just manage the class because if I decided I'm going to postpone it due to the network issue, we may not we might not have the class uh, on time. We may not have it. So, and I don't want to postpone it. Let's just manage it. Maybe along the line, uh, the network will do the normal thing. Okay, so few minutes to the session, to the session where my light went off. So, the light went off in our community. Eh? Maybe that is the reason why the network is messing up. Okay, it could be the reason. So, like just, just like I said earlier on, monetization is the act or process of making an income from something that otherwise would not generate you reve revenue. So that is what monetization is all about. So let's now look at what knowledge monetization is all about. So knowledge monetization, we can say is the process or act of turning your knowledge into cash, into cash or a process whereby you convert your knowledge as a product that you can offer or sell in the market. I hope you understand what I, by, I mean, what I mean by that definition. Monetize, uh, knowledge monetization is the process or an act of turning your knowledge into something or into a product that you can offer in the market. So when you try to put down your information or the knowledge that you have, which could be maybe through training, maybe through education, maybe through the skill that you have acquired, maybe through whatever medium that you must have used to acquire those knowledge. Okay? So, when you try to convert those knowledge into something that can be turned as a product, okay, then you hover it into the market. That is knowledge monetization when you convert your knowledge into cash for meeting machine and you started making money from it i hope you understand that simple definition that knowledge monetization is the process of transforming your knowledge okay transforming your knowledge into something that we can call a product that you can offer or sell in the market that is knowledge monetization so now let's go a bit more deeper with the class so if you are with me i want you to please comment drop your comment let me know you are with me no i'm not doing this thing alone we are doing it together so i'm here because of you and you are here because of me too so without you there won't be me and so please engage with me 
say something when you are there. So look at the industry. In 2018, the industry was was worth 170 billion US dollar, and it is estimated to grow to 350 billion by the year 2025. Okay, so as it is now, knowledge monetization, which we can say knowledge economy or information marketing, okay, is growing and is as at now is the second largest, grow, fastest growing industry after IT. I hope we are together. Is the second largest, um, fastest growing industry. Okay, so look at the huge amount that this uh, industry is, is worth 170 billion as of 2018. That is the amount people have made from selling information online as worth 170 billion as of 2018. And it is estimated to grow to 350 billion by the year 2025. Okay, and this places it as the second fastest growing industry in the world after IT. So let's move ahead. So, what are the benefits of converting your knowledge into uh, 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 into products? Number one is that it can generate you passive income. That is through your knowledge you can make extra income. Okay, you can make extra income if you convert your knowledge into a product. Okay, by the time you sell it, you make extra income from that. Another aspect is that you will have a new lead. So, new set of people will come on your way by the time you you started selling your product. Okay, new set of people will come on your way. People that you don't know before that, that have interest in the in the product will come on your way. Okay, so once again, I want to remind you that if you have any printing business that you want to do, or maybe a branding business, a branding job, uh, book publishing, uh, maybe you want to print or work or you do some souvenir or you need a word or plaque or maybe you want to even do billboard and signage I am at your disposal don't be too far I'm not too far from you so that is my number and that is that is the number that you can call on the screen you okay, just call that number okay call the number okay so call the number call just call the number that you are seeing on the screen okay so now let's move to the class. So, like I said, the benefits. What, what are the benefits of turning your knowledge into 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 products? Like I said, number one, you are going to make extra income, or you are going to generate passive income. Okay. Another thing that you are going to gain by converting your knowledge into a product is that you are going to gain a new lead a new set of people will come on your way okay another a benefit of you doing that is that uh you are going to build new tribes and audience these sets of people can become your permanent customer forever and they can become the person that you are going to work with forever so uh another one is that you, empowerment by creating uh, or turning your knowledge into digital uh, into into products that people can buy indirectly you are empowering some set of people are you with me you are empowering set of people by doing that so another benefit of doing or, or converting your knowledge into a product is that you may you will meet some people's need you will meet people's need Okay, you will meet people's need. So I've mentioned five benefits that you are going to gain when you convert your knowledge into a product. One of them is passive income. You are going to generate passive income. 
the next one is that you are going to also generate a new set of people or a new set of leads another one is that you are going to build tribes and audience that like what you do okay they they you know these people they they are going to become your family and they just because you produce what they want another one is that empowerment by doing so you are empowering people and another thing is that uh you are also meeting people's needs okay so you are also meeting people's needs let me quickly say this that if you are an online course creator so our platform zobia college is is a red made platform for you to go and host your online courses okay just go there request to be an instructor and once you do that we will approve your request and once your request has been approved you can put your courses on that platform okay it is free to put your courses on the platform we are not charging you for putting your courses on the platform and one thing again is that you are going to earn, you are going to earn a good commission by putting your digital products there or putting your online courses there so are we together Are we together so let's continue with our class uh so i've i've mentioned or i've i've mentioned what an information marketing or knowledge monetization is all about which is the process of converting your core or your knowledge into a product that you can offer in the market and i've also uh mention the benefits that you are going to gain by converting your knowledge into digital products one of them is that you are going to build a new tribe or a new set of family or you are going to create generate a new leads and you are going to also make extra income or passive income another benefit is that you are going to empower people by doing so so now let's move on with the class So now, how to identify what you can turn into, a, or how to identify knowledge that you can turn into a cash. That is what we are going to look here right now. So the first thing is that, I want you to know this, that when you are looking at what you can convert, or the knowledge that you can convert into a cash like this, look at what you know, look at what you know, Okay, so look at what you know. I said, just try and look at what you know. What do you know? Okay, what you know is very, very important. So if you can come up with what you know, okay, and wish you can, okay, wish you can try and, and, and discover by yourself, like, what are those things that people come around you to ask you or what knowledge did you have or what kind of certificate or degree that you have or skill or passion that you have okay all these are still parts of what you know so what do you know that you can teach that is the question that i want to ask you first what do you know then the second one or the second question is to ask that what do you love or what do you love to teach or what do you love to do you, maybe you like cooking you can convert that into a, a, a product that you can sell in the market okay so the first question what do you know the second one what do you love to do and the third one what do people need so if you can come up with uh, uh answers to these three, three questions you will be able to know what you can turn into, into what uh, you will be able to know the kind of knowledge that you can turn into a cash so like i ask you what do you know okay what kind of uh maybe uh training you have passed through before that you can turn into a product or what kind of skill that you have acquired or what kind of certification that you have so all these things are part of what you know and what do you love like maybe you love or you, you love uh cooking or maybe you you, you love swimming uh, anything like that that you know that people too are willing to learn it or what do people need 
maybe you should try and listen more to what people need okay maybe you should try and listen to what more to what people need so now i want you to know this to create uh to turn your knowledge into into products or to something that people can buy it's not going to be easy uh, it's not going to be easy and the reason is because uh sometimes you might condemn yourself when nobody is condemning you you might think you don't have the ability that is uh to do it that is self-condemnation okay, so self-condemnation is possible to set in when you are doing something like this but it is you that will not give it a rule okay so self-condemnation is when you think you are not good at doing something or you condemn yourself before anyone condemn you okay so that is self-condemnation so there are some fa uh, factors that you just need to pay attention to or beware of okay so you need to pay attention to them and at the same time you need to beware of them the reason why you have to beware of them is that if you don't beware of them or, or do the needful they may end up delaying you from doing what you want to do please once again i want to say this please bear with me my network is fluctuating i wanted to do this show on, on youtube but because of the network issue i could not do it there so i have to bring it back here when i try it it works here but on face on youtube it didn't it didn't go so and like i said earlier on if you are an online course creator we have a platform for you where you can sell your course for free that is zobiacollege.com so go to zobiacollege.com and host your course for free we are not charging you for hosting your course there okay so it is free to host course on zobia college so please host your course there and also if you have any printing job that you want to do i'm available for you okay so i'm listening to myself while i'm doing this class i'm listening to myself so this is the this, this is the zubia college so just look at the website now and then Like I said, that is the Zubia College link. You can see it there now. So we are getting there. So now, what are the mediums that you can turn your... How can you... What mediums or uh, affiliate opportunity or what area that you can convert how do you convert okay let me put it that how do you convert your knowledge into into a, a product or what kind of product can you turn your knowledge into let me say that we are what main jobs that are available for you if you want to turn your knowledge into a product and number one is not it's not only ebooks that you can we are going to mention here you can turn your knowledge into books okay, you can turn your knowledge into books not only ebooks like look at this my books i launched this book this year and it is focused on how to start an online business that is what the books is focused on i launched it this early this year so i've sold few copies of this book and it is focused on how to start an online business this is exactly or an example of how you can turn your knowledge into products okay so like i said this my book is available for sale i will drop the link later on on how if you want to have, purchase it so like i said earlier on it's not only on ebook you can also write physical book okay this is an hard copy books 
this is hard copy books okay so you can write books like this these are hard copy books so another one area that you can also leverage is online course online course like this my course that is focused on how to register a business a how to register business with the cac it's a course that i created a few months ago and i and i'm glad i'm glad that i did it okay so like so this course is on subia college if you want to learn how to register business name or business company with the cac you can get the course on Zubia College. Just go to Zubia College slash business name. You will be able to get the course. Okay. So it's an example of how to turn a knowledge into a, a product. Okay. Because I know how to register it. Then I now did an eight video step by step guide on how to do it also. Okay. So, and everyone that bought the course are coming back to thank me. Okay, so, let me put it that way. So, another area you can also monetize your knowledge or, 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 or convert your knowledge into a product is membership, site, and subscription. That is, if you decided that people that want to come, or maybe if you decide to create a subscription membership or, 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 you people that like let's assume you you are a content creator maybe email marketer and you decide that anyone that want to come on my way anyone that want to receive my email should subscribe you know by subscription by doing that you are monetizing your knowledge because you are not just giving out your knowledge to people so they are paying for that so so what i'm saying is this is that uh There are many things that you can, there are many ways that you can make money converting your knowledge into a digital product. Okay, so there are many ways. Another way, a way is through workbooks. Okay, many people need workbooks. So you can convert, you can also use the media. So now another one is coaching and consulting. Yeah, you can. Also monetize your knowledge by coaching people or consulting for people. Another one is podcast. Podcast is audio form of uh, of, of video. Okay, you know when you listen to the audio uh, records. Okay, that is podcast, tutorial and webinars, just like what I'm doing right now. And when it comes to tutorials and webinars, it could be that it's not necessary that it must be a live video like this. You can do that maybe in your Facebook, uh, your Telegram, your WhatsApp, blah, 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 and things like that. Okay. So, and we have any other digital products too, other digital products, maybe app. If you, if you create app, you know, you create it, you can monetize it. Uh, maybe you create SaaS products too. For people, you can create SaaS products and monetize it. So, there are many ways that you can monetize your knowledge so let's move to the next slide okay so now getting started we are going to be looking at how to get start with your what do you need before you can start your online before you can start the journey so well, that is what we are going to be looking at right now how to get started with the with the process How to get started with the process that is what we are going to be looking at right now so how do you get started getting started step one equipment and tools so you need to determine or decide on which kind of equipment and tools that i'm going to be using for this thing that i want to create okay so if it's a, yeah, maybe if it's an ebook or books that you want to write uh, you might need a laptop or paper and biro to write it down then you now type it out so if it is online course you might need a camera or a smartphone camera laptop microphone and learning platform 
when I say learning platform or, 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 or platform that you are going to host your work, let do it's not necessarily a learning platform. Let's just say platform that you are going to host your you are going to use. Okay, let's just put that with that platform that you are going to use. It's not necessary that it must be a learning platform. The learning pl the people that need learning platform is if you are creating an online course. If you are maybe you are producing you are if you are creating an ebook or books, uh you can sell it maybe on, on Amazon or Canada Book or on Smash Word or any platform. And one thing is this when you are talking about platform that you are going to sell your pro your courses or your digital product, you can create your platform by yourself, maybe build a website, just put your course there, or you leverage on other parties, maybe looking for someone who have a platform like Zubia College, then you put your course there. Are we together? So, like I said, you need equipment. So, what kind of equipment that you need? So, the kind of uh, uh, mediums that you want to use, we decide on which equipment that you need. If it is training that you need, you know you might you need a you might need a camera, smartphone, or laptop or microphone and platform that you are going to use. For instance, let's assume that you want to let's assume that you are using WhatsApp to do your training. Let's assume you want to use WhatsApp to do your training now. Okay. So for you to be able to use WhatsApp for your training or telegram, you know you need a smartphone to do that. A smartphone that connects to in with good internet to be able to do that. So just decide on which equipment and tools that you will need to be able to deliver your product very well. So let's move again to the next slide. So two, plan your content. No, look at the slide that I'm using right now. If I don't plan them, there's no way I can be able to use them. Are you getting it? So plan your content, do your research. Research is allow read around what and uh, what expert expert have said about what you want to create. In as much you are not the first person that will speak around that topic that you want to speak on. Okay, try as much as you can see you can do to see what other expert have said around the, the the topic that you are working on. Are we together? So plan yourself. Planning and writing the content beforehand will help you deal with uncertainty and plan ahead. So that is benefits of you plan the content. So you have to plan, and during the planning process, you do your research around what you want to do. Okay. So do your research, know what you need, so know how you go about it. Okay. So plan, plan, plan. Next slide. Create the content. Now that you have planned, you have acquired all the necessary information that you need to go about what you want to do. If it is book, then go and start creating it. Go and start writing it. If it's an online course, go and start doing your video shoot. If it is a WhatsApp content or maybe a training, try and create slide or content that wow people. Not just that you gather people together and at the end of it, you will not give them what they want so plan your content and then create the content okay so the next one is that once you are done creating your content you need to start uploading them or you know if it is training that you want to use as media what you need is you are not uploading to the platform but to be sharing what you know if it is a live training that involves video you started sharing the slide with people like this during the live presentation. And if this book, you need to upload it on platform where people will be able to have access to it and make uh, payment for it. Okay. So, uh, uh, knowledge monetization, uh, somehow diverse. 
based on what you want to sell or based on what you want to create. The way you are going to go about creating or publishing a book is different from the way you are going to work on podcast or, uh, or training. Okay, so after you are finishing on your work or your project, you need a platform that you can use to sell it, either personal or third party. I think I've said something around that before. So now after you have uh, done that, you know you need to market your product. After you have converted that into a product, you need to market it. No, no business that will sell without a good market. So you need a good market to be able to sell it. So you need to promote it. Even if it is a training that you want to do, you need to also learn to promote it. So, and that is what we are going to be looking in this session. So the next session is coming up next week. So what I'm going to be doing next week is that I will be showing you how to create ebook and how to create online course. Ebook first. If you can dive, uh, if you can finish that one, we will now go to how to create an online course. So, I'll be, when that book, I'll be walking you through five process on how to turn your knowledge into book. Okay, it's still knowledge monetization series. That is what it's all about. So, question time. What question do you have? You have question. I want you to drop your question. And at the same time, I have my contact details on the screen. So maybe you can call me for any inquiry. My number is there. If you are call me or WhatsApp me, plus two three four. If you are calling from outside Nigeria, eight one four six zero zero two six eight. My email is mayowa at subiacollege dot com or onobanjomayo at gmail dot com. So I want you to drop your question and. In the absence of no question, me, I will pretty assume that we all get value from the class and then I will sign out. And before I will go once again, I want to say this that if you are a course creator, I want you and uh, you want to sell your course, online courses, we have a platform for you. Zobia College. With Zobia College, you can sell your online courses. I think we just have an applause for that. With Sudia College, you can sell your online courses. And it is free. It is free to sell your online courses on Zubia. It is free. And you also earn good commission too. You also earn good commission by selling your courses on Zubia College. So, as I was saying earlier on, I'm about to close the class right now. So thank you, every one of you that have joined me in this session. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you for joining me. So now you are not talking and you are not saying anything. So I assume that you enjoy the class. And here is another course that I have available on. Here is one course that I have available on Zubia College. And it is eight practical videos that will teach you on how to register business company with this. CAC that is Corporate Affairs Commission of Nigeria. Okay, uh, this is one area that I earn income from online. Okay, it's one of the areas that generates me income. I help people to register or incorporate their business apart from the printing and book publishing that I also do. I also help people to, go to register their business online, um, to register their businesses, and that is what I now put into courses. So that if you also want to learn how to do it, you can also just buy the course. And you know, I've said it earlier on that I mean to printing, branding, book publishing. So maybe you want to produce souvenirs like jotas, uh, diary, calendar, and any of them like that. So souvenirs that is something that I also do. If you also want to do a word. Maybe you have an event that's coming up and you want to give people's award or you want to do any play, play or frame. So I'm also into that standard. Billboard, signage, they are all my work. So now I want to close the session. In the absence of no question, I will assume we all enjoy the class. So next class, we are going to be looking at 
we are going to be looking at how to create MOOC. Okay, how to create MOOC. That's what we are going to be looking at. How to make money, turn your uh, writing book. That is what we are going to be sharing. After that, we'll go into online course creator. And from there, we'll be also we'll be working on other parts of the steps that you can use to monetize your knowledge. So right now, I want to close. Thank you, everyone. I look forward to see you next week. And like I said, in the absence of no question, I will presume that you enjoy the class. So do take care of yourself, and I look forward to see you next week. Bye for now. Bye, bye for now. Bye, bye for now. Bye, bye for now. <laughs>